here, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of the series of videos I post to try to help people out when it comes to attitude tests, like the civil service exam, UKATLA, IFL set, and all of those things. Now, today we're going to talk about another logic lesson, kasi napag-usapan natin before yung ibang mga uh, basic concepts nitong syllogism or data sufficiency. And we already talked about yung all only at saka sum and if you haven't seen those videos yet i re highly recommend that you pause this video watch those first ililink ko na lang dito sa taas yung series para mapanood niyo muna siya para may foundation na kayo on this kasi uh, dito sa discussion na ito i'm going to teach you how to draw and understand the con the concept ng word na no or none pero i-integrate ko rin yung mga other words that we already talked about like all only and some. So, so ganda ko na iintindihan nyo na sila. Now, if this is the first video you're watching from this channel, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell icon para malaman ninyo as soon as a new video posts. There are more of these coming up para wala kayong ma-miss. Um, medyo hindi ko pa lang din nasasabi sa inyo guys, pero if you're subscribed to the YouTube channel and uh, part kayo ng notification squad, pag hindering nyo yung bell icon, malalaman ninyo pag ready na yung video. And I usually post the YouTube videos early dito. Um, kaya ni Math Mondays, I post them usually Sunday night. So, kung gusto nyo ng early access dun sa mga video lessons para mapanood nyo na siya way before the other people na nasa, nasa Facebook page, then, maganda if you're subscribed and nasa notification squad kayo. Okay? Yan yung mga ating uh, early birds para mahuli nila yung lessons right away at wala silang mamit. So, for those of you who are subscribed already, thank you and uh, we are racing towards 100,000 subscribers before the year ends, so thank you for being part of that. And like I promised you guys, if you reach 100,000 subscribers before the year ends, we're going to throw a little bit of a parang Thanksgiving gathering para makapag-bonding din tayo. And medyo malapit na tayo dun sa goal na yan, nasa 94,500 tayo at the time that I'm filming this video. So kung lagpas na tayo dun at the time that you're watching it, thank you pa rin for being part of this wonderful journey ko throughout the three years ng pag youtube ko so far. So, thanks guys. And uh, now, in order for me to explain yung ating lesson better, I'm going to switch over to my PC so I can show you how to do it. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so ito yung lesson natin sa logic, sa statements na may no or none. And um, it really would be helpful if you watch the other videos in this series first. Now, before we dive into yung bagong lesson, let's just do a quick review ng mga past lessons natin. Okay? For example, um, yung logic rules natin, number one, tunay na buhay does not apply. What does that mean? Again, every statement sa logic question, you will only take whatever was said as the truth. So, yung mga um, sitwasyon sa totoong buhay, hindi siya nagre-reflect dun sa logic. So, whatever is true is sa totoong buhay doesn't mean na yun yung totoo dun sa question na yun. Ang tunay na totoo lang would be everything stated in the sentence. So, whatever they say, kahit medyo ridiculous, kunyari, if uh, red is blue, di ba? Of, of, obviously, hindi naman uh, blue ang red. Pero if that's what the statement in the logic question says, then it must be true. Okay? So, number one, tunay na buhay does not apply. Number two, take it one line at a time. This is very important, lalo na dito sa series na ito, kasi if you don't take it one line at a time, marami kayong ma-assume ma na mali. Okay, and I'll show you how to do it naman din later. Now, again, review. Ito yung mga napag-usapan na natin before. And then I'm going to show you how to draw yung no or none. Okay, so quick na recap lang kasi we're going to put everything together later. Kapag sinabing all, what that means is, again, sunny side up na itlog. So kung all A or B, with yung yellow being yellow, tsaka yung isang circle being blue, this is what it looks like. So all A... Or B. So, kung sanabi, uh, all yellow or blue, then that's what it looks like. Okay? Now, yung sum naman, the sum looks like this. Okay? Ano siya? Yung regular na Venn diagram na nakikita natin. So, again, what that means is, some of the blues are also yellow, and some of the yellows are also blue. Pero itong all kasi, lahat ng all yellows are blue, ibig sabihin, nasa loob siya mas malaking bilog. Again, review na to kung napanood nyo na yung videos, pero kung hindi nyo pa napapanood, Please, uh, and, and this is not just me trying to get you to watch my other YouTube videos. Watch the other videos first before we dive into this. Kasi ito yung mga foundation na lessons. Okay? Now, yung only, kung only blues are yellow, ang itsura, niya, ang itsura niya is kung sino rin ang blue, sila rin ang yellow. So, they share the same circle. Sabi ko nga, uh, before, ito ay sunny side up na itlog, ito ay nilagang itlog. Kasi isang bilog lang siya. Okay? But di naman tandaan kasi only O, so isang zero or isang bilog lang siya. Now, how do you draw yung no or none? 
Okay? If sinabi all um, A or B, ganito itsura. If sinabi no A or B, okay, or no A is B, then ang itsura niya would look like this. Okay? If ito ang, if no blues, okay, or yellow, if no, no blue is yellow, then it would look like that. Magkaiba ng bilog. Now, ano pinagkaiba niya? Again, walang intersection. Magkahiwalay sila at walang pareho. Okay? So, pag sinabi na walang blue na yellow din, uh, then, ibig sabihin, you draw two separate circles. And that's what we're going to use today. Okay? Now, let's uh, try to apply this in an actual question. So, katulad ito. And again, this is just for illustration purposes. I, I Like I tell you guys, tulay na buhay does not apply, so your opinion doesn't really matter in this case. Ang pinag-uusapan is whatever is in the question. Okay? So, uh, serve nyo muna ang pagtawag sa akin ng pangit sa ibang conversation. Now, example lang ito. Mas vivid kasi siya and it's easier to remember, I think, if I put a name on it. So, no maravilla is ugly. Ano ibig sabihin nun? First line, ibig sabihin kung ikaw ay maravilla, no, none of us are ugly. Ibig sabihin, magkahiwalay sila ng bilog. Like we talked about kanina, dalawang bilog na magkahiwalay. That is how you draw it. Okay? Now, the next statement says, Laika is a maravilla. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Kung ako ay maravilla, ang ibig sabihin, ako ay nasa loob ng bilog na M. Okay? Diyan, diyan ako mailalagay kasi maravilla ako. Okay? So, the, the statement, Laika is ugly is, okay? And if you look at the drawing, ang Laika is ugly would be false. Now, bakit siya magiging false? Kasi again, sabi natin, walang maravilla na ugly. Ibig sabihin, kung uh, maravilla ka, automatic, hindi ka na ugly. So, this statement becomes false. Okay? So, that's how you use it, how you use the drawing. Now, very basic ito. Let's raise the bar a little bit. Okay? Dagdagan natin yung statement. Now, let's look at this other example. Sabi, no proud person is good. No successful person is good is proud. Um, that statement, no good person is successful is. And then, we're going to choose true, false, or uncertain. Now, again, dito po mapasok yung need for you to know how to draw this correctly. Kasi kapag hindi mo siya din drawing, just reading this statement, magkakaroon ka ng mga false assumptions about it. Now, drawing mo na rin first line. Sabi, no proud person is good. Ibig sabihin, kung ito yung bilog ng mga proud people, yan yung mga proud na tao, yung mga good people nasa labas or nasa ibang bilog. So, ganyan yung first line. Ganyan mo siya yung drawing. Yung proud, tsaka yung good, magkahiwalay. Now, the second line says, no successful person is proud. Dito kadalasan nagugulan yung ibang tao. Kasi ina-assume nila na dahil no proud person is good at no successful person is proud, ibig sabihin, automatic, na kung ikaw ay successful, Okay? Ibig sabihin, hindi ka proud. Ibig sabihin, ikaw ay good. Now, that is a false assumption kasi, okay, hindi yun explicitly stated sa sentence. Okay? Na anong lang ang pwede mo i-drawing dito? Ang pwede mo i-drawing ay yung relationship ng bilog na successful at saka bilog na proud because that's all that was stated in the second statement. Again, tunay na boy does not apply and take it one line at a time. So, kung na-drawing mo na yung line one, wag mo muna siyang isipin, ang pinafocus na natin ngayon are yung mga bilog na nasa line two, S at saka P. So, all we know is that yung bilog na successful dapat nasa labas ng bilog na P. Dapat nakahiwalay sa kanya. Hindi didikit, hindi hahawak dyan. So, tanong, pwede ko ba siya ilagay dito? Yes, right? Bakit? Kasi nasa labas pa rin naman siya ng P. Kahit na na-overlap niya yung G. Again, this part right here, hindi ka sure. Now, again, hindi automatic na doon na siya mapupunta doon sa G. Bakit? Posible din na ganito yung itsura, right? Pwedeng kunin niya lahat ng G. Pwede rin ganito. Pwede rin sa labas. Bakit? Kasi nga, ang alam mo lang is that yung mga successful, hindi proud. Yung mga proud, hindi successful. Okay? So, don't assume na ito yung drawing. Dito mo lang ilalagay siya sa side nung mga um, good people. Okay? So, ganyan ang magiging itsura nung drawing natin. Again, kasi hindi pwede mag-overlap. And I think if na nakuha nyo talaga yung mga first videos that I posted before, itong concept na ito, hindi na bago sa inyo, medyo mas naiintindihan nyo na siya. Now, if in case you don't understand it right away, I do suggest re-watching the video. Some of my students sabi nila three, five times nila pinanood bago nila truly naiintindihan yung concept nito. But the thing is, if you don't draw it, you really would get it wrong. And uh, with the recent na mga exams being heavy on this type of question, I really want you to understand this correctly. Okay? So again, 
hindi ka sure, ang alam mo lang yung S nasa labas ng P. So, hindi mo alam kung dyan siya, kung dyan siya, kung dyan siya, or anywhere else. So, kung hindi ka sure, anong, ano ang epekto niya dun sa question? Ang question is that no person is, uh, no good person is successful. Now, if you look at the relationship between the circle na G at saka circle na S, Honestly, hindi natin alam kasi tamo, kung ikaw ay good person, hindi mo sure ngayon kung ikaw ay successful ba automatic, hindi successful, or yung iba lang sa inyo ang magiging successful. So in this case, the answer would be uncertain. Okay, so that goes to show lang again that you really need how to, to know how to draw and how to separate each line from each other. Kasi kung ano yung sinabi na sa una na drawing mo na, hindi mo na pwedeng isipin dun sa pangalawang drawing. Okay. Now, let's try another one. Ayan. Now, I'm going to leave you with this just so you can uh, parang, parang patikim sa inyo. Subukan ninyong sagutan ito. I'll give you two minutes for this question and then I'm going to discuss it later. Okay? So, your timer starts now. Alright, so tignan natin na uh, kung anong drawing nito, anong tamang drawing nitong question na to. So sabi, no proud person is good. So ibig sabihin, yung bilog na proud, nakahiwalay or nasa labas niya yung bilog na good. Much like yung tanong kanina. So you already know how to start it. Yung pangalawa na ngayon ang nagmamatter, which is yung all successful people are good. Now sabi natin kapag nagdrawing tayo ng all, ang itsura niyan ay sunny side up na itlog. Ibig sabihin, lahat daw ng S nasa loob ng bilog na G. Kung ikaw ay successful, automatic good ka. Pero kung good ka, hindi naman automatic na successful ka. Okay? So, anong mangyayari dito? Dahil meron ng existing na G dyan, etong bilog na to pwede ko incorporate dito sa drawing na ito. So, maglalagay lang ako ng mas maliit na bilog na labelan ko na S. So, yan ay mga successful people. All successful people are good. 
Na wala nang drawing kasi wala nang sinabing statement. So, yung question says, no proud person is successful. Ibig sabihin, kung ikaw ay proud, dapat daw, okay, hindi ka magiging successful. Now, if you notice, kahit saan ko ilagay yung X na proud, imposible siya maging successful. Kasi ang layo nung successful, di ba? Kasi automatic, nandun siya sa bilog na good. At dahil, kapag ikaw ay good, okay, ay hindi ka pwedeng maging proud, ibig sabihin, kahit anong gawin mo, kung ikaw ay proud, hindi ka pwedeng maging successful. So, this statement is actually true. Kasi nakahiwalay talaga yung bilog na P sa bilog na S. Okay? So, I just wanted to showcase to you guys na pwedeng, pwedeng maging sagot ang kahit anong option sa ganitong klaseng tanong. So, you really have to know, know how to draw it and how to understand kung ano yung hinahanap ng tanong. And the best way for you to master this is through a quiz. And I'm going to give you that quiz sa link dito sa video na to, sa description, uh, dun sa description box at saka dun sa thumbnail sa end credit scene ng video na ito. Okay? So, if you watch it till the end, you'll access that free quiz. Alright? So, uh, I hope you do, do great dun sa quiz na yan. Alright! I hope you learned something here today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure to share this video with your friends. Lalo ako mag-exam din sila para mas wala may time matulungan. And if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, hit subscribe and hit the bell icon para hindi nyo mamiss yung mga susunod na lessons. If you want to reach out to me directly, maybe get one of the, the reviewers that I made or attend the live review events or join the online review program that and if you're taking the civil service exam next year so march because we're going to announce yung mga locations and dates really soon don't forget to follow me on my facebook page it's www.facebook.com slash team laika thank you guys and as always never stop learning aja aja kaya nyan i'll see you in the next video and bye for now